Hey guys, welcome to the Mitch's Music Morning live stream. And I told you last week that um, I was going to talk a little bit about music theory and the basics of it. Um, just want to make sure that that title is there. All right. And then, um, so today what we're going to talk about is sort of the way our notes are constructed. Um, the distance between the notes called intervals. Um, and we're also going to talk about a major scale because um, we're going to use that major scale to talk about um, other things and just sort of the theory of how chords relate to each other a little bit later. So today we're going to talk about the building block of the major scale. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk about um, how to make chords um, and so you'll kind of need to know today like today's lesson in order to do tomorrow's because all of this stuff is based off of intervals and if you don't understand that then it's it's kind of hard to see how the chords relate to each other um, and today one thing that it's useful for is to just kind of learn how to find your way around the fretboard. If you understand the way intervals work together and the way notes are arranged, then you can, if you know a certain note, then you can easily find what another note is that you don't know. Um, and so today we're going to talk about intervals, what they look like on guitar, and then we're going to use the intervals to make a major scale. A lot of times on guitar, we learn the patterns of the major scale, but we don't learn exactly the notes that make it up. And, and in my experience, actually knowing the notes that you're playing um, is much more beneficial, especially for, for songwriting, um, maybe even finding new inversions of chords, which we'll talk about later. Um, but it's really beneficial to know what notes you're actually playing rather than just learning a pattern or a fingering for a scale. Same thing with chords. It's it's nice to know what notes you're playing so that like if you're playing a major chord, you'll know how to change it to a minor chord or a diminished chord or whatever. So basically, if you know a little bit about theory, this will teach you how to use some of your knowledge that you already know for instance chords major scales and expand upon that without completely relearning the information so let's talk about intervals what are they um guitar it's a little bit harder to see because on piano it's it's um you've got white keys and you've got black keys and they just repeat going all the way across and since um, it, it doesn't always look the same because we aren't staying on the same string all of the time because it would be ridiculous um, to do that for the most part. Um, today, when we construct our major scale, we are going to stay on one string just so you can visualize it a little bit better. Um, so, an interval um, is they're they're arranged into half steps whole steps we'll get into major seconds minor seconds all of that stuff a little bit later when we talk about chords but today um we just want to talk about half steps and whole steps and we're going to use those to make a major uh, a major scale and so a half step basically on the guitar is the distance between one fret and the next fret so if i go from the second fret to the third fret that is a half step, okay? A whole step is two half steps. So one half step, two half steps. So basically skipping a fret is a whole step. All right, and so the musical alphabet is arranged in seven letters, and then we have 12 notes in all, and we use half steps, we use sharps and flats to get those notes. 
So um, let me just go down the E string and show you how those half steps work. Um, so one thing that's a little easier to visualize on the piano is that as you're going, there is no um, sharp or flat between E and F and B and C. So when I play E and I go a half step to this first fret, that is just an F. Then if I move up, that's an F sharp or G flat. Move up again, that's a G. Move up again, that's a G sharp or an A flat. So now we're on the fourth fret. Move up again, that is an A on the fifth fret. Move up again, that is an A sharp or a B flat on the sixth fret. Move up again, that is a B on the seventh fret. Move up again because there's no sharper flat between B and C. This is a C. Then move up again, C sharp or D flat on the ninth fret. Move up again on the tenth fret is a D. Then move up to the eleventh fret, D sharp or E flat. And then when we get to the twelfth fret, that's where everything starts over. So this is just an E again. All right. And so. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to make a major scale. All right, so a major scale is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So two whole steps, a half step, three whole steps, a half step. So um, to get our first note, we're going to start on E. All right, so we need a whole step. So here's a half step and a half step. That makes a whole step. So E, F sharp, so there's our first one, then G sharp, because we go another whole step, another whole step, remember you skip a fret to do a whole step, then we need a half step, that would go to A, then we need another whole step, skip a fret, that would go to B, another whole step, skip a fret, that would go to C sharp, Another whole skip, step, skip a fret, that would go to D sharp. And then half step to end on E. And that gets us all the way through the major scale. So in an E major scale, you've got E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And, of course, we don't normally play it that way. You can use it to play um, sort of like an open string sounding thing, but, but you wouldn't play it that way most of the time. And we're not really going to get into that in this video. This is more about construction of the major scales. And then later we will talk about some different ways to play them. So let's do that same thing, but let's do it with, an a, with the A string. So A string, start open. We need a whole step first, so half, half. So here's our whole step, so we're at B. So A, B, we need another whole step, C sharp, half step to D. Then another whole step, E. Another whole step, F sharp. Another whole step, G sharp. Then end on A with a half step. So in an A major scale, you've got A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And so that's how you can construct a major scale, and you can do this with any note to figure out the notes in the major scale. Um, I will end up putting a link. I think I have a link somewhere. Um, I'll find it and put it in the description of um, just the notes in all of the major scales so you won't have to go through all of that. Um, and I'll get in a little bit more detail about why sharps, why flats, depending on the key, a little bit later. Uh, I'll probably talk about that after chords. So tomorrow, 
Um, we are going to use what we learn with major scales to talk about chords. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to make major chords, minor chords, diminished chords, augmented chords. Um, we probably won't get into seventh chords, but um, we'll, we'll talk about the basics of building those chords. And then on Wednesday, we'll look at what chords are actually in a major scale. If you have any questions or anything that you would like me to answer that I didn't answer today, I'm trying to keep these these videos about 10 minutes long. So it's really just a brief introduction, but I will get to your questions if you have them. Leave them in the comments below. Um, click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos. I'm going to have a lot of Halloween videos this month. Um, I'm working on tubular bells right now, um, Night on Bald Mountain right now, um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show will be out in the next couple of days. Um, I'm working on Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, I'm also working on Little Shop of Horrors, Werewolves of London, um, and a couple of other surprises coming out later this month. If you have a request as well, leave those in the comments below. And um, if you have made a request last week, I promise I will get to those at least by this weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow morning and we'll talk about how to construct major um, chords, minor chords, diminished chords, and augmented chords. See you later.